Is Igus Fiantech scared? Listen, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just asking for a friend here. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Is she scared? That's right. How come Igus Fiantech is playing this 250 in Bad Humburg? That's right. Big Bad Iga. How come she's playing here in Bad Humburg? How come she's not in Eastburn, where all the other stars are at, at a 500 event? You know? She's just going to come here and uh, snatch this title up. Is she scared? Because we know Iga Fiantech is not a good grass player. So is that why she came to Bad Humburg to snatch up this title and bully these guys around? Well, the first that looked promising for Jill Teichman through the first two service games and what had what had happened was Igus Fiantek. Her first serve percentage much better these days. She's getting 75% of her first serves in play. She's winning about 80% of them in this first set. Much better results than what we've seen in the last couple of months. But I have to be honest, he had the rib injury. So, I mean, you're anyone that plays tennis, you have a rib injury. Your serve is going to be off. And we're talking 50, 60 percentile range getting her first serves in play. Jill Teichman won about 80 percent of her first serves. It's the second serves that really destroyed her. ESV Fiantek won 73 percent of Jill Teichman's seven second serves. That's really what it came down to. Iga saved all three of her breakpoint opportunities, and she pressured Teichman in the three. And literally, all she needed to do was get that double break there, and she wins the first set 6-3. In terms of the return side of things, Jill Teichman does have an opportunity to attack the few second serves he's looking at. But how do you really incorporate a, a game plan over an entire match to beat Igus Fiantek? We saw early on Jill Teichman going to the net play. And listen, guys, if you want to see Igus Fiantek not win a championship, just put it at the net. Because Igus Fiantek will avoid the net by any means. But Jill Teichman, I, I mean, how can you live a full match at the net, especially when you have Igus Fiantek with all that spin? But Jill Teichman, I say it time and time again, she's got swagger. I think she's got to really show that confidence on the court because I don't think she realizes how she comes off to fans and tennis experts. She did say in one of her recent interviews that a lot of people think she's cocky and arrogant. And I can see it because she just she has a natural swag to her. And I personally think, I mean, look at how she walks. That's swag. Swagger on a thousand trillion. I just wish she can get her coaching together because I think she has a lot of untapped potential that she hasn't reached. Uh, I mean, she's what, maybe 25 or something like that in her mid 20s. I still think that possibly if she really works on her game, her athletic ability, she's not going to lose it. I mean, she'll have it in the next four to five years. I think if she really just goes in the gym, works on that serve, you know, if she can win as many free points as possible without having to use her athletic ability, I think she'll be deadly. But if she can work on her baseline techniques, I think she's got a left cannon. I think it's best down the line. She's got to work on her center court balls when, when she's returning from the center. I think she makes a lot of mistakes there. But I think down the line is really good. I think mid-range on the run, she has a good game. Wherever she can use her athletic ability in the open court, she starts to shine, especially with the volleys. But I do want to see her work on her baseline techniques. I want to see her work on her spin. She doesn't really go to the spin a lot. I think she could use that to buy more time until she can work herself back into some of these rallies instead of f forcing the issue and, and pressuring shots that aren't fair. I do think Jill Teichman is an amazing talent, but right now, Igus Fiontek starting to get comfortable and warmed up, and the second set might get ugly. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned.